Right, so I've got a few hours with the boat this morning. Um, I want to get all the bits that need to come off, off the boat so they kind of start putting together the final product. Um, so there's a, a few stringers and some, some of the um, gunnel needs to come off. And then I'll mark bits where, um, bits where the ply needs to be kind of fixed up and patched. Um, but today, everything that's not going to be on the final boat is coming out. What's really nice about this is that I can put the flat face on the contour of the boat and I know that I'm not taking too much of the ply off at the top um, and it goes through all the little um, copper nails like butter. Okay, so about 90% of what I don't want on the boat is now off. I have to reiterate that getting yourself a proper renovator um, is well worth it. I have had the cheap kind of knockoff version that you get from Bunnings, the Tezo one, it, which works but none can quite last as well. This one's got kind of a, a better fitment to it, um, as well as some higher quality tooling it's it's one of those things that I suggest spending the money on so no the I'm so happy renovator made light work of that in terms of kind of boat building and that all your, all your screws and st stuff are either brass or copper so this thing can just fly right through them and um, taking that gunnel off would have been a massive job well it was still pretty big but um, it would have been a huge job and would have damaged a lot more than just maybe the top half a mil of the ply. Um, what's really great now is I can sand right, right up the side of it. Um, there isn't any of these weird um, junctions. I can sand right up the side, inside and out, um, and then get a really nice finish. Also, the whole reason you, you might have thought, you know, just replacing bits of the gunnel, but what's going to happen is there's going to be a if, if that's that's your gunnel, the deck's gonna lie on top and then there's gonna be a second, you can see it on there, there's a second piece that comes up and just finishes that, um, that junction really nicely. You don't have any exposed, um, any exposed plywood or anything like that. So removing the gunnel I think was quite a good thing. In the long run, it's going to make it a lot more easy, a lot easier to really get in there and finish everything. 
for, you know. Um, some of this stuff, I took out all the, the little portholes, uh, the little hatch holes. Um, I've got bigger ones. Those ones that were on there, I couldn't actually stick my hand in, um, which I think is pretty pointless. So I've got bigger ones that I'm going to put in. And they came out all right. All the all the fixtures were rusted up and stuff, so I just cut it with an angle grinder. The center console, I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that yet, so I'm leaving it in for now. It might just stay like that, but we'll see how we go. And then a few of the, I took out a couple of the little little supports for the seats and that, but um, for the most part I'm leaving them all in and then I'll just bulk up around them, if that makes sense. Yeah, all in all pretty good day. Um, I guess I can start sanding tomorrow, which is pretty good. Um, might not make for the best video tomorrow, but um, no, pretty, pretty chuffed with today. Yeah, renovate it for the win. Um, like I said, all these videos, I'm going to try to do a daily one. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Check out the playlist. There's two other ones so far. Um, hopefully the playlist doesn't get too long. Um, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll do kind of daily ones and then have a day off where I just kind of uh, summarize that weekly video and put that in a full playlist. So um, if you want to just have catch-ups. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.